Gamescom. Please welcome your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff, Jeff Keeley. We love you, Jeff. So I haven't really seen too much about Gamescom. I know it's been, how long has it been since it's about a week? I've seen like one game that got shown, but other than that, I'm pretty, I'm going pretty blind. Hello, Germany, and hello, everyone watching live around the world. I am Jeff Keeley, and welcome to the world's biggest in-person video game event, Gamescom 20. Is it really? Wow. That's cool. Germany, huh? Now, this right here is kind of like the opening ceremonies for Gamescom. It's a preview of this year's most anticipated games. We call it Opening Night Live. And over the next two hours, you'll get exclusive new looks at titles like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed Mirage, and Mortal Kombat 1. Okay. But first... We're going to kick things off with the first new franchise in more than two decades from a legendary game studio. And to help two us decades. step into the vast world of Starfield, please join me uh, in welcoming the composer of the game, Inan Zur, for a very special performance. Maestro. Dude, I'm so excited for Starfield. I hope it's good, man. I really hope it's good. Nice. <clears throat> what are the main stories going to be about? I just hope that we can deal with like cosmic entities in the game. That'd be sick. Knowing Bethesda, there probably will be something like that.
Are these real people or is this computer generated? I can't tell. It looks really good. Nice. Starfield is ever so close. Uh, and Inan, thank you so much for that spectacular performance. Really appreciate you coming all the way for this. Uh, well done. Well done. It's true. In just over a week, fans will start to play Starfield in early access on Xbox and PC. Well, I've been lucky enough to start playing it. Don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. All right. Hey, well, uh, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. That's just so disappointing. This is such a special night for so many developers, and it's really disappointing to see someone uh, act that way. But we're gonna move right on with the show. We've got a lot of great games. Oh god, that's cringe. Oh god, that was cringe. That was so cringe. Why was security so slow to act, man? They were just like, they were just like, you know, strolling on up. It's like, what the fuck? Tackle the dude, man. Fuck that guy. Show him. Point to see it. someone. Like, look, look, really? look. They're just walking up, man. Disappointed. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> someone. I Really, oh, it just, God, it just cringe. so sad to me to see something like that happen tonight. We're here to celebrate games in this community and how much they mean to us. So without further ado, uh, um, I want to move right on with the show because we've got a lot to show you. And the good news, Gamescom, is we have someone very special here who can be here to talk about Starfield. Please join me in welcoming to Opening Night Live and Gamescom for the first time ever, one of our industry's greatest creators the director and executive producer of Bethesda Game Studios. That's right, Todd Howard, everybody. Hey, Todd. Thank you so much for coming all this way to Gamescom. Uh, we have a lot to talk about with Starfield, but first of all, is this true? This is your first ever time at Gamescom? This is my first Gamescom, and you were right. You said how great the crowd September is 6th. here. And yes, it's just over a week from when I'm watching it right now. And just all the fans that come here for this biggest, the biggest convention in gaming to celebrate games. And I figured, you know, it is our first new franchise in over 25 years, so if I was gonna come, you know, it's for Starfield. Well, uh, we all welcome you to Gamescom in Germany, and we're all very excited to step into this new world, Starfield, uh, and the next week, Early Access. Uh, set up for people, why did you wanna make this game, Starfield? Why did you wanna create a new world? You know, I think like a lot of gamers out there, we have dreamt of a Fucking game space where meta, dude. we look to the skies and we can blast off into space, space and meta. explore. We love to make games where we can explore these worlds we've done, like with the Elder Scrolls, and the Fallout series, but we wanted to do something brand new where you could explore with complete freedom in the galaxy. It's a game we've always wanted to play that um, we think a lot of people wanted to play as well. It's kind of that, that dream game. Yeah, I, I wish I could talk about it, but uh, it's, it's quite an experience, and I know everyone here is very excited to, uh, to jump in soon. Um, you did bring some stuff to Gamescom to show to fans. I know there's a theater. Tell us, I know you've been, you know, sharing a little bit about the game, but I know there's a lot you want people to discover when they play it. What did you bring here to, uh, to Gamescom? Yeah, it's really cool. They, uh, we've built a 300-person seat theater where we're actually showing the beginning of the game, and you start out as a miner, and you, you touch this artifact that affects you in some way where you see a bit into space-time, and then you get to create your own character. Our games are about creating and being whoever you want, and then you're off on adventure. Yes, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this adventure. I know, uh, you know, people have been wondering kind of what the, the main quest line is going to be after you create your character. That's what which I'm is wondering. Something yeah. that I know. What's I the story about? On the internet this week created you, I think. Did you see that? Someone tweeted out a picture. They had somehow figured I out. I see a lot of things on the internet. I'm not <laughs> sure that's real. <laughs> well, the thing is, I think you could literally create, you know, whoever you want and then enroll yourself into this adventure and tell us about sort of how the adventure starts. What can we expect? Well, you jump off, you're joining Constellation, which are the last kind of group of space explorers like NASA meets Indiana Jones searching for these artifacts. But the story goes a lot of places. The game has a lot of surprises that we haven't talked about. 
I don't want to spoil them here, yes. um, but really, really happy with how the story turned out and, and where it goes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's such an epic experience, and, and you and your team have done so much for this industry, and uh, the fact that you guys Dro have worked through goats. COVID building this Goat and, and status. coming on the other Bethesda. end, uh, we're so excited for everyone to get a chance to play it. So thank you for all you've done for our industry, Todd. Everyone, Todd Howard. Thank you. Can't wait for you to play the game. <laughs> By the Thanks way, so Elder Scrolls 6, really what's up with that? What's going on with that, huh? What's the timeline on that? Where are we? All right, well, tonight is largely focused on announced games, but we do have a few surprises along the way. And next, it's time for the global reveal of the third installment in a franchise that is very familiar to Gamescom fans. Here we go. Oh, is this Little Nightmares 3? This is the one game that I saw. I love Little Nightmares. Yeah. Super massive. This is, I, I heard it's co op too, or it's like multiplayer. I hope it's like, um, it takes two where only one person needs the game. Nice. 2023? Ah, uh, 2024, Kim. Three. And joining me now are Corley <laughs> and Lucas from Bandai Namco to tell us more. Uh, Lucas, uh, thank you so much. It's great to have you back here at Gamescom to announce another Little Nightmares. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, it's really great to be back. Uh, we're very excited to announce Little Nightmares. Look at that tonight. dome shine, the man. Has a long history with, uh, Look at with that the show. dome shine. You know, Holy shit, my man so buffed it before he came on. Oh my us God, that's game. awesome. It looks incredible. Uh, Corley, I, I see we saw two characters in that reveal trailer. Can you tell us a bit more about them? Yeah, sure. Hi, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here to Hello. Uh, present you to Nadma 3. So, yeah, uh, as you have seen, we have two characters, but now you have two players as well. So, you'll be able baby. to play both in single player or online co op if you want and face your childhood fears with a friend. Nice. Now, I, I saw a lot of cool new places in the trailer. Can you tell us a bit about sort of the, the setting for these two characters? Yeah, so our two new characters are low and alone. They are trapped in a place that we call the spiral. Alone and alone? The cluster the of spiral? disturbing places, and they will have to work together, survive in a world full of dangerous threats and full of delusions. And they will also have to find a way out of the nowhere. The nowhere. So, yeah, I can't wait to have you put your hands on the game in 2024. Excellent. We don't oh, have to yeah. wait too long. 2024. <laughs> Lucas, I know that's not all because you're kind of expanding the little nightmares world with, uh, with something more. Tell us a bit about that tonight. Yes, we have one more surprise. So in addition to revealing Little Nightmares 3, uh, I'm very excited to announce uh, our first podcast series. It is called The Sounds of Nightmares, Ooh. and it's an original story. It's composed of six episodes, and we are releasing the first two episodes tonight. So you can go on our website, thesoundsofnightmares.com, to check it out. And we hope that our fans are going to enjoy it. OK, that sounds cool. Awesome. All right, well, we're very excited to learn more. Thank you, Lucas and Carly. Thank you, Jeff. Thank Little you. Nightmares 3. Next, it is rare when a new studio reveals footage that takes over the internet that that happened back in 2020 with the reveal of Black Myth Wukong from Ooh, Game Science I'm in excited. China. I'm excited. Based on the classic 16th century Chinese novel, Journey to the West, here is a brand new look at the gameplay of this incredible action RPG. It's like Soulsborne, is, or Souls-like, isn't it? Hold 
骨碌皆心血泪。These bosses. Combat seems good. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. We're going to attack it. There you go. That looks all right. Hey, Shun, hey, Shen Hua. All right. Ugh. The hell is this? Ah, ah, ah. Ah. What the fuck? Whoa, what is this? Oh, killing floor. Whoa. That's cool. I've never played the uh, the other games. So is this some like RTS? Civ? Reimagined for Xbox. Age of Empires, so oh. AoE.
What a great surprise. Age of Empires 4 Anniversary Edition, an award-winning game on PC, is now available on Xbox consoles today. That's right. Right All now. Right, next up, we have something extremely special for you. We have one of the most iconic filmmakers of all time in the house. The director behind the legendary films such as 300, Man of Steel, and Army Whoa. of the Dead. He's come Zach all Snyder? the way to Gamescom to talk about his new film, Rebel Moon, which is on Netflix oh, it is Zach December Snyder. 22nd. Oh, sick. Gamescom, please give a warm welcome to the one and only Zack Snyder. Uh, I like Zack Snyder. Rubble Moon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Zach, I, I know you had to come a bit of a ways to get here to Germany. Thanks for coming to Gamescom. Thanks for having me out, Jeff, and thanks, Gamescom. Uh, how are you guys doing? This is awesome. Uh, wow, what a great crowd. It's insane. I great I'm, to have you here. I know I, you've been a gamer for your whole life. Yeah, but. I've been a gamer, and I, you know, I, I, I love the idea of coming to Gamescom. Was like poof, that blew my mind, and so we were like, yeah, let's go check them out. And I thought I'd come over here, and this would be a great opportunity to talk about my new project, Rebel Moon. Should maybe show you guys something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. the world premiere of the trailer, which is coming up in just a second. Yeah, here. just. Uh, oh, I've already swing. seen the trailer. Okay, well, uh, I, let's kind of roll it back though, because I want to talk about it this debuted at Gamescom. Rebel Moon, and it's really a whole universe that's that you've created. And we're going to get into that in a minute. Um, but what was the original inspiration for creating this this new world? Well, I was always a fan of um, you know team building movies, um, you know Dirty Dozen, Magnificent Seven. And also, I was a huge fan of this adult illustrated fantasy magazine called Heavy Metal. When, and I was, everything in there just blew my mind. And I really loved like how intense it was and how crazy it was and the worlds that it introduced me to. And so I thought, you know, this is a chance. And my awesome partners at Netflix were like, go do it. And so uh, I got a chance to make this movie. Nice. And you've got... Quite the cast, and I know Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, plays Hopkins it, right? plays this robot, amazing robot, and it's an insane ensemble. And of course, uh, Sophia Butella is really the heart of the movie, and, and you'll see her just kicking ass through the entire film, so it's fun. And what I love about, yeah, it's, you'll see it in just She's seconds, awesome. but there's even more than just the films, and part of the reason we wanted to have you here at Gamescom is I know you're, you're kind of expanding on the films with a a whole universe of, of things that are gonna be, you know, narratively linked to what you're doing with the, uh, the movies. Tell us a bit about what's in store. Yeah, yeah, we're also super excited to reveal that we're making a, a video game uh, for Rebel Moon, and the game we're developing with uh, Super Evil Megalcorp, and uh, it'll expand the Rebel Moon universe. It takes place, like, um, right after the events of the two movies. Um, and it really is a. I've been talk, talking with those court. guys and really interacting. What kind of games do they make? The ideas they have and the, the way the game's going to expand the universe is just unbelievable, and I'm super excited about it. You'll be able to like pick your rebel and then go on missions, and it's like uh, one and two players in a co op. Yeah, and it's crazy. But we're, look, and we're just starting to talk about a bunch of other crazy ideas inside the game, so it's really fun, and that's coming. So keep your eye out for more. All right. Well, we love it. The films, the game, and more. But let's roll it back to the movie because we are going to get a first look now at uh, this incredible film, part one and part two, right? Yep. Uh, so uh, this little trailer we put together, a little tease of the universe. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I can't wait All for right. you to check it out right now. Let's check it out. The world <laughs> premiere of the trailer for Rebel Moon. Zack Snyder, everybody. Thanks, guys. That looks insane. I cannot wait to play that game. Uh, all right, well, now we're going to move on to something that is very long awaited because sometimes good things do come to those who wait. It's been a number of years since we last heard an update on Crimson Desert, the new open world action adventure oh, from Pearl Abyss in South Korea. I think I saw Korea. a trailer for this. Well, that changes tonight because the, the team Korean has prepared game. a very special gameplay update trailer to share with the world first. You're at Gamescom. Enjoy.
shaky ass camera. Where is this supposed to be taking place? The fantasy world? Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Got a weird combat angle. I really don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I don't know if it looks good or not. I mean, it, it looks good visually, I guess, but like the gameplay is kind of weird. Where are you? All over the place. What's up, games, comments, Ice T? I've hooked up with my favorite game Ice in the tea. world, Payday, and I have my own special Payday. heist mission in Payday 3. And you know I know a lot about heists in real life, all right? It launches <laughs> September 21st. Here's a world premiere. First look. Okay, so here's the deal. The components are kept in high security cooling containers somewhere in the storage yard. The clock starts ticking as soon as the components are out in the open. So you need to haul ass to get them to the transport. Take too long and they'll start to degrade and lose value. Now, do what you need to do to get ready. I'll see you on the other side. Play the payday game. God damn it, blowing everything up. This is Assassin's Creed? Uh, okay. 
كنت أعرف دائما أنني سأعود يوما ما لقد عاد للتو من الجحيم كنا في المتجر وليدا قضيت الكثير من طفولتي في هذه الشوارع Like they're returning to their roots. Oh, I'm to have a mecca. Couldn't it sell a little bit in Hikmati Fisigarina and our Sadiqa TV hat? The Kreat and Jamila saw at Kariha Tanilan, albeit Alla Mulima had a fellow. مستتر يتهيأ لإعادة النور إلى أحلك أركان المدينة إني أبعد نصلي عن الأبرياء وليس عن تنظيم القدماء Assassin's Creed, there it is, bada bing, bada boom, yay. There you have it, Assassin's Creed Mirage, which marks a return to the Middle East for the series, offering an immersive and authentic experience featuring full Arabic voice acting, as you saw in that trailer. You can be transported to 9th century Baghdad when the game launches on October 5th. Big month in October for game releases. Now I would like to introduce you to our co-host tonight for ONL. Please welcome Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. <laughs> hello, Jasmine. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for having me. And hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be with all the fans here at Gamescom this year. And I have the honor to be your guide for tonight for all those great things happening right here at Gamescom. And... <laughs> hey. And if you can't join us in Cologne this year, don't worry, you never have to miss any of the events this week. Just go to Gamescom now to discover what the world's gaming industry has in store for you. And if you're ready to vote for your favorite games, then visit now.gamescom.global and cast your vote for this year's Gamescom Awards. The awards will be celebrated this Friday at 3 p.m. If you want to join the adventure and win pretty cool prizes in this year's Gamescom Epics, then go to the Epic section of Gamescom Now to play the text adventure of the show. You can also enjoy all day coverage and tune in to Gamescom Studios broadcast by IGN on Twitch or YouTube. Just join the conversation by using the hashtag Gamescom 2023 online. Plus, there will be more announcements from the largest in the area in the world in the Gamescom Awesome Indie Studios show tomorrow at 8 p.m. And later this week, tune in to the Gamescom Studios broadcast and check out the Gamescom Cosplay Awards live from Cologne, Germany on Sunday at 3 p.m. I highly recommend this section. So check out Gamescom now for all those fantastic features. Thank you so much and back to you, Jeff. Thanks. Thank oh, you, Jasmine. Oh, these guys. Well, now I'm joined by the one and only Harada san the creator of Tekken, uh, and Michael, <laughs> the producer of Tekken. Uh, you guys have come all this way from Japan to that guy is fucking stylish. Gamescom. Like that shirt. What do we got, Harada? So this is the Sudan. Recently, I've been battling the system. No, I'm not going to share it. So today, I'm going to share it with you. So today, I'm going to share it with you. So today, I'm going to share it with you. So up until now, we've been mostly showing off the battle mechanics and, and new uh, gameplay. But today, we have an all new uh, mode for uh, to show you today. Yes. So today, I'm going to share it with you. So today, I'm going to share it with you. 
、えー、鉄拳のキャラクターの壮大なストーリーモードはあるんですけども、えー、それ以外にですねもうあの特に欧米では、えー、失われてしまったアーケード体験のストーリーは体験できる、まあ、プレイヤー中心のですねストーリーモードっていうのを、えー、最新の AI ラーニングシステムを使って、えー、すごい臨場感のある、えー、ベテランからニューカマーまで楽しめるような、えー、そういう新しいモードをちょっと今日はお見せしたいなと思います of course, Tekken 8 will have the... I wonder if there's ever a, like, a translator just like the guy speaks for too long it's like I totally forgot half of what he just said、uh, story mode covering the Mishima、uh, uh, storyline and the arc that the players expect、uh, up until now But this brand new mode is kind of the story that focuses on you as a player. And、uh, it covers the arcade scene, which is you know, a classical atmosphere that、uh, people our generation actually got to experience firsthand, but maybe some of the newer game player,、uh, gamers out there haven't. So this will cover that.、Uh, as you progress through that storyline,、uh, you'll, you'll experience some all new gameplay that actually has some、uh, AI kind of infused learning、uh, aspects to it. And、uh, it's really exciting, and we hope that、uh, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the brand new trailer for Check It Eight. Thanks, guys. Going somewhere? Yes! Go c l i c through! Don't you play, but you get sick. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. That's kind of cool. Eat this! What's done is done. Kitana. Jesus Christ, those pixels. Tekken 8 coming in January 2024. All right, I'm now joined by Shelby Carlton and Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer because on November 10th, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 arrives, and today you、Modern、guys、Warfare、will be the、3. first audience in the world to see some raw, real gameplay from the campaign.、Uh, Dave Shelby, welcome to Gamescom. What can you tell us about、uh, Modern Warfare 3? Well, first of all, Jeff, it is awesome to be here. Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. We're、mm. shipping 16 multiplayer maps, all from the original Modern Warfare 2. These maps have been modernized with new gameplay and features. We also have open world zombies.、Ooh. This is our lar largest zombies. Yeah, yeah. This is our largest zombies offering ever. And for the first time, it's set in the Modern Warfare universe. And of course, This year, we are bringing a huge innovation to the Call of Duty campaign. Yes, let's talk a bit about the campaign, Shelby.、Uh, I, uh, Makarov, I know, is going to factor into this. See him over there.、Um, tell us a bit about what is the, the storyline? What can we expect from the campaign? 
Yeah, so for the first time for Call of Duty this year, we're doing a direct sequel. You know, Modern Warfare 2, they asked a lot of interesting questions in their story, and Sledgehammer Games is so excited to work with Infinity Ward on the campaign to answer some of those questions and to bring you Modern Warfare 3. And one of those answers, he's actually, he's standing right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> he is Makarov. Yeah. He is our infamous antagonist. He is cold, he is calculated, and he is trying to bring the world to the brink of war, but not if. Task Force 141 has anything to say about it. So we are just so <laughs> excited to get this campaign into the players' hands. All right, well, we are going to see a uh, playthrough of a campaign level. But first, Dave, I want to talk about something new you're doing, open combat missions. What are those? So Call of Duty is known for epic cinematic stories, as Shelby talked about. And this year in Modern Warfare 3, we're introducing a new innovation to the Call of Duty campaign that's going to allow players to interact with that story like never before. We call them open combat missions. Open combat missions are player directed. They allow the audience to play the game the way they want to play it. So if you're like me and you like stealth, you can go in quiet, you can equip, suppress weapons, complete all the objectives without the enemies ever knowing you were there. But if you wanna go in loud, you can strap on armor plates, you can go and hit the enemy head on and open combat missions will support it. You can leverage vehicles, you can leverage tacticals, lethals, you can even use your favorite kill streaks in campaign. Wow. Now, nice. open combat missions are really important to our campaign story, and they're going to work seamlessly with those epic cinematic missions that Call of Duty fans know and love. And tonight, we want to show you an exclusive first look at one of these epic cinematic missions. Okay, uh, set it up for us, Shelby. What are we going to see? This is the start of the game almost, right? Yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the very first level of Modern Warfare 3. This is called Operation 627. All right. Hell so yeah. Here you go. Call of Duty at Gamescom first. Thanks, guys. Wow. That's it? That's all we see? Just a cutscene? Oh. Uh, oh, here we go. Stay tight. Roger, no movement. This gameplay? Looks like gameplay. Graphics look pretty nice. Kind of hard to tell though because the streaming quality isn't that great. Hooks up. Good hook. Let's get up top. Hold. 
Drop him. DC clear. Three one, kill the light. Alpha to Bravo one, marking with IR. Confirm visual. Visual, Bravo inbound. How the hell does no one see that? Descending stairwell, south side. Nods off. Be advised, they got a bird up. Bird up! Movement in the courtyard. Looks like a prisoner transfer. Not our guy. On me. Hold up here. All teams, Alpha's in position. Copy. Bravo 6. Charlie, good to go. Roger. Light him up. They're really showing the whole campaign, or I mean, the whole mission. Clear. 
It's actually like the whole <laughs> the whole mission. I feel like. Alpha moving to sub level. Let's get our guy. I wonder if this ever happened in real life where they Ready take someone you? out and then they just swap guns. Like, oh, you know, this, this gun's kind of cool. I wonder, that, I wonder if that's ever happened in a real life mission. That was cool. That was cool, y'all. You can yeah. stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 3 details and gameplay when Call of Duty Next, the premier showcase event for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, Call of Duty Mobile and Warzone takes place. We're announcing it tonight on October 5th. And jump in for yourself when the multiplayer beta kicks off on October 6th. We have so much more to share with you, but first, here's an update on Nightingale, the new shared world survival crafting game from Inflection. After a few years of waiting, it's finally time to find out the early access release date for Steam and Epic Store. Nightingale? The Fae Wilds await. And so too, Nightingale. Awaken your first portal and tread on towards that which is boundless, beyond the measurable. Sequestered, struck by woe and lacking surprise, Oh yeah, this game. The question becomes, will thou be a survivor? Regardless of which portal variety you favor. Realm cards will be necessary. Oh. Fuck, that looked janky as shit. What the hell's that? That first hit didn't register, what? <laughs> oh, weird. Went right through it. Ah, can fly. Let my words steer your steps. That looks alright. Restore the forbidden primal. The she audio. will utilize the power of the four primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. You can tell primal beasts were weapons created by astrals. Their powers are capable of untold destruction. Primal beast? Is that what you call primal gods? I sense something, but I can't put a finger on what. Doesn't look right from up here. No. Feels like overkill for a glorified treasure. Something's blocking me. This can't get through. Oh, primeval god, I beg your forgiveness. But fate set in motion can't be stopped. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation. Bahamut. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. But you've always 
been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. That's a big series over in Japan, I think. I don't know how big it is over here in the US. Hey everyone at Gamescom, Gina Torres here. I play General Kirkin in Immortals of Avium. She is Jack's mentor. She is tough. And I didn't really hear good things about that game. How to win this ever war. But that's all I can say. Let's take a look at the game. It's out today. Okay, what do they pay her 50 bucks on Cameo to say that or something? Such a weird recording. Jack. We're out of time. You're trying to be the best, but you can't come close to the power in my fist. Everyone that can fight already is. And we're still losing. I'm an all time I'm a rise up to protect our own I'm an all time great. Never let the sea of his face self made. Last immortal. Can't stop me. I'm a all time great. I'm a rise up to protect my own name. I'm a all time, all time. I'm a all time, all time great. Stitch it up. Honestly, it doesn't really look that good. Ooh, Zen Zone Zero. Interesting. That was Immortals of Avium, which is Mi out Hoyo. today. And next up, we're going to step into the world of the Hoyoverse. And I am here with Jen Yu Lee, the producer of Zenless Zone Zero. Jen Yu, welcome to Gamescom. It's great to have you here. Thank you, great. yes. Fantastic, it's a great honor to have you here. Uh, we've been very excited to hear more about ZZZ, uh, the next game from the Hoyoverse. Uh, in the Hoyoverse. Can you tell us a little about what you brought to uh, Gamescom for this ARPG? Uh, You're gonna have a release date for this goddamn game, man? ARPG. I'm incredibly honored to be here tonight, and I've brought one of our newest products with, with me today, which is Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy APRG. So I know it's been a while since we've given you an update on what we've been working on, and that's why I'm particularly happy to be here today to give you an update on the progress that we've made with this game. So we've brought a trailer with us, um, and it shows you some of the urban environment that we've been working on, and also some of the, the um, dynamics of the game. I hope you like it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Here you go. Brand new trailer for Zenless Zone Zero at Gamescom. I want to see gameplay. What the hell?
This past April, Honkai Star Rail made its global debut, and the game has captivated players with its interstellar grand it. journey. And today, we're excited to share a special look at its beloved characters and provide an update on its PlayStation 5 release. Honkai's getting a PlayStation... The Lawful's oh, reconstruction sense. efforts are ready for inspection, General Fu Xuan. <laughs> Thanks to the Skyfaring Commission, Starsky Haven is back to full capacity. Allowing Jimmy Wen to serve as a military instructor was a wise decision. The troops' morale is sky high, and the Realm Keeping Commission has completed repairs in Exalting Sanctum. Harmony has returned to the Sienjo. Hmm, I don't remember Exalting Sanctum ever having one of these. The trash can? Uh, what manner of evil transported us here? We got still more Hoyaverse for you. Genshin Impact is nearly hey. its two-year anniversary, <laughs> and the game just released its fifth nation, Fontaine. Here's a look at the nation <laughs> surrounded by water, plus the announcement of a brand-new concert series coming, hopefully, to a city near you. Oh, that's cool. I'd be down to go to that, honestly. Genshin has some really great music. Monster, Liwe, Inazuma, and then Sumeru. This is no time for distractions. Seriously, you have a great magician standing right here. The underwater, yeah. Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Boston, Osaka, Seoul, Los Angeles, Yokohama, Chicago, London, New York, Dusseldorf. Fuck. This October, Lords of the Fallen releases an hey, RPG here we adventure go. where he plays a dark crusader who can access a parallel dimension, the Umbral. Here is a first look at the brand new story trailer for Lords of the Fallen. Oh. 
remember, you look into the shadows, might be the shadows look back. Oh, chills. Hey, what's Can the pre-order bonus? Look back. Armor tinks, okay. Three XP items, five MP items, five HP items. Eh. Gotta go fast. Looks amazing. October is going to be a very busy month for new releases. Uh, and yes, there will be full four-player co-op gameplay in Sonic Superstars. But that is not all the Sonic news we have for you tonight at Opening Night Live, because we also have a special update for you on Sonic Frontiers. Like DLC or something? What is this? Gamescom with all the game devs, publishers, and of course, the fans. <laughs> Gamescom is the world's largest video game event. Just check out this footage from last year. There are so many opportunities to celebrate games and connect with your fellow friends. And earlier, I mentioned the Gamescom cosplay area where you can see amazing game-inspired costume, just like this. Ooh. Pretty sick. Now I'm here with <clears throat> Mochi Dragon, Rainbow Raven, Zaza, Zaza. and Sephira. <laughs> That's Zaza. <laughs> Mochi Dragon, can you tell me how you choose a character to cosplay? For me, there are three things required in order to decide on a cosplay. The first thing is, do I like the game or the media where it's coming from? The second one is, do I enjoy the character design? And the third one is, does it have a little challenge in the cosplay making progress? Like sewing a corset like my princess has here or imitating bone structure with foam. And what makes cosplay at Gamescom unique for you? For me, it's definitely being able to play all of these awesome games in cosplay at the booths of the developers, as well as talking to the produ producers of the indie games, like having first-hand conversations, and of course, the Cosplay Village. Thank you so much for sharing your costumes with us, and I wish you a great and wonderful Gamescom. Thank you. Applause. Applause. <laughs> okay. go, I would like to tell you about the Gamescom event arena. Friday through Sunday there will be live shows from this stage right here in this hall. Check out creators, 
gaming events and esports competitions live from Cologne or tune in online. Join and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, and be sure to use the Gamescom hashtag 2023. Thank you so much, and back to you, Jeff. Fantastic. Thank you, Jasmine. It's great to have you here. All right, right now we've got a first look at The First Descendant, a next-generation action looter shooter from Nexon. The cross-play open beta is going to be held September 19th to 25th. <laughs> Looter shooter. We must follow the will of the ancestors. Accept your calling, Descendant. The Descendants are risking their lives for us, for Albion. Rise, my warriors! Give your lives for the It's the Ironheart! This could wipe out yeah. all of the Volgus, right? It's so cool. That bunny helmet. What Countless the fuck? Descendants have shed blood to protect oh. the sanctity of this great place. Despite their efforts, humanity is still at risk of extinction. And you, Did I see a trailer for this game before? The only chance we have. Maybe I don't know. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty sick. The third person shooter. There's a grave walker. Big ass bosses. Looks okay. There's a lot of like these Chinese Korean game companies that are Hello? starting to pop Hello? up. How's Surface World? Oh. Good. Everything's fine. Great. How are you? Tired, but in a good way. Busy. Unitrench is still Unitrench. I'm worried about you. I heard there was a storm coming. I told you, I... I still need time. Time to what, Stan? Because as far as I can see, you're just treading water. We're upping the extraction rate. Maximum output. I don't expect you to. Understand. You're not the only one who's suffering. I need you with me here now. Oh no, did like a kid die or something? I promise. Yeah, I bet the kid died. Uh coming out in like it comes out like in two days. Oh, tomorrow. Interesting. Okay. How much is it? If it's let me add that to the wish list at least. I like these kind of games. You're right there. What's already on, on the verge sure. of something special? Yeah, I think I, already, I saw this trailer before. This Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh no! It's, no. Of being first into great unknowns. Pre-order. Where's the price? Xbox or something, or Microsoft, Microsoft. Xbox Game Pass, yeah, okay. Joining me now, 
uh, Troy Baker, Roger Clark, Julia Brown, the stars of Fort Solace, which is out today on out. PlayStation and PC. Fort Guys, Solace. welcome to Gamescom. Uh, this is so fun. Tell us a bit about this project. What can you tell oh us Oh, my God. Look at these people. You guys are insane. Yeah. Fort Solace. We've been able to talk about this game for a while. I think the thing that I'm most excited about Walking is simulator. for people to <laughs> explore these characters. Um, the, at the one, of the of one, of the, one of the tags, the genre tags is walking simulator. <laughs> is, is unraveling okay. the mystery of Fort Solace. And you're going to do that by discovering these characters and, and learning about their stories. And that's, as actors, that's something that we just want to throw ourselves into. And this is a game, I know Roger made, it's, it's an independent game made by a, a pretty small team, right? Uh, 10 people, yeah. two years, zero delays. Yeah. We are very excited to share yeah. with you the world, Fort Solace today. It was a real joy to work on, and it's a joy to see what indie studios are capable of yeah. in this day and age. It's a real thrill. And, and an amazing cast uh, for an independent game. Ooh, Juliet, ooh, this is, ooh, uh, ooh, you know, we know ooh, you from a lot ooh, of great, ooh, you know, ooh, film, television work. Uh, this game thing, how did you get involved in this project? Yeah, it's my first ever video game project. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Thank you. And to get to work beside two of the best in the game world, nonetheless. So I and just me. <laughs> Watch these guys and learn. <laughs> and you got I mean, you guys did full on, I mean, performance capture. We see yeah. a little tease of your character there, Julia. What can you tell us about kind of the what we're gonna see in this launch trailer? Because it is really it's an amazing narrative Troy experience. Troy Baker, right? where have I heard of, it? Uh, you know, before. An independent game, but done Has he been in games on a before? big production value. Yeah. Yeah. Go Roger. You know, one of the best things about Death working Stranding? with Troy, I remember coming in from lunch and we were doing the mocap and I walked into the foyer and there I see Troy's butthole. I mean the, the hole is butt made. When we were, okay, we, when I say we threw ourselves into this, we literally did. And there's, there's a hole in the wall Not that was part. made by my butt. Yes. Which he signed. <laughs> and Julia, I, I know you're, it. it's a little mysterious what your role is in this. Yeah, like the game, crowd right? did not respond to that. Yeah, so I play Jessica Apton, <laughs> no. who's an engineer working on Fort Solace, alongside oh, Jack Cleary. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to have a night that they will never forget. Ooh, okay. Um, it's a thrilling ride. Well, let's get a little tease of this. As I said it's out today. Here is the launch right trailer now. for Fort Solace. Thanks so much, guys. Our pleasure. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Jack Leary, senior engineer en route to Fort Solace in the Planum Quadrant, responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure, await further information. Recording submitted. Is there no sign of security? No. I think there may have been an incident here. What the hell is going on, Jack? You need to leave and let Central handle it. Interesting. Kind of seems like one of those games where he's kind of playing through a, a movie. <laughs> All right, next, it's time for the announcement about a new game from Focus Entertainment and Saber, the continuation of the ultimate off-road experience. Behind all great discoveries lies a journey. One of anticipation and adaptation. <laughs> of struggle. Of hope. Each step matters. For every obstacle, there is a solution. Is it off-roading simulator? What the hell is this? For every task, a tool. For every destination. 
destination. An expedition. Expedition, a mud runner game. Interesting. That looks kind of cool. Be a vibe. All right, our next stop, the Crew Motor Coupin. Fest, a vibrant open world welcomes you to the ultimate festival for car lovers, Motor Fest. Here is the brand new trailer. The Crew Motor Fest comes out September 14th and the brand new Lamborghini Revelto is on the cover and playable. And we have a special o &L announcement for everyone watching between September 14th and 17th. A free trial will be available of the game offering five hours of gameplay on all platforms for the Crew Motor Fest. Sweet. All right, move it on with CD Project Red gearing up for the release of the spy thriller expansion to Cyberpunk Here we go. 2077 Phantom Liberty on September 26th. The studio is ready to share Here we a go. new look at the wide oh, range. Oh god, of dude. Oh dude, I have to replay Cyberpunk. I feel like I kind of have to cuz it's been like I don't even know what, 3 years since it came out. Overhauled mechanics coming to the game, and as you're about to see, a lot has changed. Let's check this out. Okay, yeah, let's go. New ways to play. V, my favorite Merc. Welcome to Dogtown. There's a job, coordinates provided. You know what to do. Get your ammo, assault rifles, tactical gear. Pants, thinking of buying some iron. The logical choice. Damn. Green view. Home stretch. Getting a ripper to overclock your chrome before the fight. Your chrome. Not a bad idea. Those are manis blades. Okay. I'm ready. Get this show on the road. Bullet deflect. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, god damn. Air dash is pretty sick. Throw dead bodies. That's funny. Job done. Premium work, V. Premium. I'm closing the gig and sending you a little bonus. Something that will spare you home safely. Someone dispatched a hunter. Good luck. Fucking coming down. Fucking coming down. 
vehicle combat. Oh, nice. Close and here to talk a little more about what we've just seen is Yulia Primok, gameplay designer from CD Projekt Red. Yulia, welcome to Gamescom. Hey, I'm hey, I'm excited to be here today. Hey. Well, we're, we're excited to get in depth about what we just saw because there are a lot of upgrades coming. We just saw a lot of upgrades and changes that are coming to Phantom Liberty. Uh, where do we even start? So basically, we've prepared a major overhaul of the gameplay experience. So, for example, with our absolutely redesigned perks system we prepared many cool play styles and many cool abilities to try out for example uh, deflecting bullets with your katana or just robbing your enemy and throwing that enemy around and on top of that all we also prepared a new relic tree that will allow for uh, to, to empower your cyberware even further wow uh, it seems like players you know can even further customize their play style um, to suit their taste. We also saw in that video a lot about uh, vehicles and how vehicular combat is even uh, being upgraded, right? Exactly right. Uh, so vehicle combat is a massive addition. Players now will be able to shoot their guns while driving. They will be able to use mounted weapons like uh, and rockets. Vehicle combat sounds pretty fun. And on fun. top of that, all they also will be able to take remotely control over vehicles Damn. to, for example, uh, crush them or uh, into like some group of enemies wow, and, uh, sorry to interrupt yeah, uh, one more going. yeah one more thing is that Let her cook, Jeff. are gonna be a, a new like re renewed experience with the revamped police system oh okay. revamped police uh, well, system it okay. seems like you're upgrading you said across the board with a bunch of different things um and thank you so much for coming out to tell us about it um like the trailer showed i know uh you have something else to announce though that wasn't in the trailer right Exactly right. So I'm really happy to announce uh, that a lot of what we've just seen in the trailer will also be coming to Cyberpunk base game for free oh, for nice. current gen consoles and That makes PC. sense. That makes sense. Okay. 2.0 update. Ooh, exactly. 2.0. All right. Nice. All right. Well, I cannot yes. wait uh, to check it out uh, next month. Uh, thank you so much, Yulia, for thank joining you. us here at Gamescom. Yulia. All right, tonight we've also got an update on the science fantasy strategy game Stormgate and a first look at one of the factions, the Infernal Hosts. Stormgate is a spiritual successor to classic real-time strategy games like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2. Mm -hmm. Generally, high asymmetric armies fighting for control of Earth's future. Today we have an early look at our second faction, the Infernal Host. Infernals live and die by the code of victory at any cost. They have a powerful advantage, Shroud, fields of dark magic that strengthen their armies. The lowliest infernal units are the worker imps. You might think they're cute, but don't get too close. Between these powerful lumbering brutes and the fiends that they unleash, infernals will sacrifice everything, including themselves, to emerge victorious. On the music front, the Chainsmokers are advising us on our soundtrack, we're working with composers like Frank Lepaki of Command & Conquer. We'll share more later this year, including some of the friends we've brought in to lend their voices to our co-op campaign. All must serve. Gamescom always strives to help our environment, and all of you can help make a change with a donation to the Gamescom Forest. Now to present Gamescom Green Studio of the Year, please join me in welcoming Lisa Pack, from playing for the planet. Lisa? 
Every time I come to Gamescom, I am amazed by the skill of this event and impressed with how each year the team uh, continues to make steps to make it more sustainable. This is being done through the Gamescom Goes Green initiative, as well as by partnering with us at Playing for the Planet. Through Playing for the Planet, the United Nations has been working with the games industry to inspire millions of players around the world to learn more about the environment and to take actions that benefit the planet. Whether you are a gamer, a head of a AAA studio, or an indie developer, all of us can and should play a part. What matters most is that you start somewhere and collaborate, because <laughs> time is of the essence. And if we don't start now, then when? For those of you who play games, many of you are already raising the bar by asking game makers to step up and act on values that are important to you. Keep on asking, whether it's for more green content or greater energy efficiency, because your voice counts. For this year's Green Studio of the Year Award, we have been looking for bold, system-changing, innovative, and creative ways to tackle the climate crisis, and all nominees this year have done an amazing job. The way we win on climate change is to stop emissions from happening in the first place, and that is exactly what this year's award winner is actively trying to do. The nominees for the Green Studio of the Year based on companies that have submitted applications are Frontier, Ubisoft, and Xbox. And this year's winner is Xbox. And here Xbox. to accept the award is Phil Spencer, the yeah. head of Xbox. Good job, Xbox. Um, I'm accepting this award on behalf of an incredibly talented team at Xbox that has worked very hard to put tools in the hands of developers to allow them to see the impact of their code on the energy draw of the consoles. We do this so that we can all play while we continue to make the world a more sustainable place. Thank you very much. Ooh. Thanks, everyone. Good job. Congratulations to Phil and Xbox. Uh, great to have that award in the show. I'm now here with Judd Cobbler, the founder and CEO of 11th Hour Games. Judd, this is a big moment for you guys. ARPGs have had an incredible year, but you're an independent studio that has been building this game for a number of years, and we're excited to tell your story. So tell us a bit about The Last Epoch. Absolutely. So Jeff, thanks so much for having me. First off, before Last Epoch, I was not in the games industry. I was just a die-hard action RPG player that dreamt of creating a community-made action RPG. And with the help of our community and Kickstarter, we've been able to make that happen. And so in Last Epoch, every single skill in the game has its own transformative skill tree. We have 119 skills in the game so far, and we're adding more every single patch. We also have an awesome deterministic skill system, deep and interesting loot, and multiple in-game systems for endless playability. And Jeff, tonight we're excited to announce our newest class, the Rune Master. Ooh. The Rune, Rune Master, Master has a unique mechanic where he's able to invoke any of 40 different abilities with a single button press, making it super exciting and fun to experiment and find your perfect play style. And the Rune Master is gonna be joining us September 7th and will be available to play here all week at Gamescom. Hell Amazing. Yeah. Well, this is such a great story of this game. I encourage you to check it out. And right now, we've got a first look at the Rune Master. Thanks, Judge. So Appreciate it. Five years ago, Last Epoch was a community dream. What if we, the players, could band together to make the next great ARPG? What would that game look like? Lots of character classes to choose from. Every single skill would have its own build to like Baldur's Gate 3. Reaching in game would be just the beginning, and it would be updated for years so we could play forever. Last Epoch makes crafting and finding items super rewarding. Again, it's genius. I think this is the most innovation we've seen in a trade system in an ARPG in at least a decade.
a really cool game. Speaking of cool games, please welcome the winner of best mobile game last year at the Game Awards. Hey, Ben Brid or Ben Bro. Hello, ben man. Bridge. Oh, oh, it's whoa, you. Whoa, whoa. I know we won mobile game of the year. You did, yeah. But we just finished rebuilding the entire game to run natively on PC. Okay. It looks it looks insane. Uh, <laughs> and I'm here to tell you like that ben like, literally just insane, like five dude. minutes ago, we launched the game on Steam. Okay, it's on Steam. Rebuilt. Oh, now. Yes. That's fantastic. Uh, now, I know anyone actually watching the show on Twitch, if you watch more than 30 minutes of ONL tonight, there's a special Twitch drop, a Spider-Man variant for Marvel Snap. And right now, we've got an exclusive cinematic to show you from Snap. Check it out. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> uh, fucking Ben. Christ, what is going on? Cool. I can't see shit. Ready to get out there? Bye, 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 bye. Next big thing and I'm on the move. Best watch your step when I'm coming through. We have a lot to talk about. Already it's a classic, classic. If I drop any day, it's a classic. Any wave that I'm on, it's a classic. And you heard that? Classic. This armor core. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Memories form like scars. Cut deep enough. And they'll never fade. Or be forgiven. I ran. I begged. I stole. But I survived.
doesn't matter who tries to stop me. I'll cut my own path through. I'll fight until I stand in the land of salvation. Warhaven. Play for free. Interesting. That was Warhaven and the Melee multiplayer PvP game will hit Steam Early Access on September 21st. Next, I am so excited to welcome to Gamescom the hey. creator of Mortal Kombat, who's come all the way to Gamescom to unleash even more news on MK1, which ships in just a month. Please join me in welcoming to ONL Ed Boon. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Uh, well, we had a lot of fun with you at Summer Game Fest revealing the first gameplay of MK, and I gotta say, every trailer you drop just gets crazier and crazier. So what did you bring to Gamescom? Um, we brought another, probably our craziest trailer of all. You know, since we, since we introduced the gameplay at Summer, Games, Summer Game Fest, we, were, we couldn't believe the reaction people having to the game. And they've actually gotten their hands on the game which has become even more exciting. I can't believe the crazy stuff people have come up with, combining the main char characters and the cameo characters. It's been a riot. But this, uh, this trailer we have here should uh, give you an even better idea of just how insane things get with this game. There are some reveals in it. Uh, I got to say, this is such a great asset. You guys are going to enjoy it. Here it is, Mortal Kombat 1, the brand new trailer. world can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. While our realms are at peace. So many new fighting games coming out. Well, not new. Well, to be at war. yeah, I guess new. General Mortal Shock. Kombat 1, Victor Tekken 8, the Street Shabarian Fighter 6 war. all came out this year. Kind of crazy. All of Outworld is grateful for his or that usually happens. I don't really follow fighting games. It's interesting that so many new ones came out the same year. You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort? Do not forget that, General. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel. Let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. Raiden, reborn. <laughs> is it me, or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? <laughs> he has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. I am ready, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Ooh, that was sick. We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Ooh. Oh, ah. Oh, sick. Oh. I gotta say, the fighting look does look clean as hell.
Oh God. Oh Jesus. Who's your queen? <laughs> My queen. Oh, Homelander. Oh, and Omni Man, Peacemaker. Nice. That's kind of cool. Looks insane. All right, time for a tonal shift. <laughs> anyway, History Untold is making its first event appearance this week at Gamescom. This turn based grand strategy game is about building and leading a nation throughout alternative history. Here is a first look at the gameplay. That is quite the shift. That's funny. Let's go back to the beginning. So this is another one of those. Is this the city builder there, game? The world untouched. No thrones ascended. No history yet written. Just people waiting to be led somewhere extraordinary by you. Choose a leader. Kind of cool. Old Washington. Will you be wise? Will you inspire? Change the world. One thing is certain history will never be the same. That's cool. Blizzard has had a long history here at Gamescom, and in its latest game, Diablo 4, it arrived in June and will be supported for years to come with seasonal content. Their first season of The Malignant is now underway, but in a bit of a surprise, we're now about to share with you the first news on the next season coming this fall. Okay. It started small. Nameless people Ugh. that no one would miss. Dead. Discarded. Okay. Their throats torn open. The church ignored the killings. Even as fear mounted like the bodies. The desperate and the brave fought to end the corruption. But they were too late. Jesus Christ. It changed them. Killed them. Brought them back. Hungry. I have fought this plague a long time. We need something different. A survivor with all of their strengths and none of our weaknesses. Someone unexpected. And they'll never see you coming. Track them. Hunt them. Kill them. In the realm of darkness, we are the beacon of light. Let our stakes pierce through the hearts of the damned. For tonight, we hunt. 
Cool. Team's calm. Please welcome actress and producer Gemma Chan, who is voicing the role of oh, Gemma Chan. Hunter Eris in the season of the blood and the general manager of the Diablo franchise at Blizzard, Rod Ferguson. Welcome to Gamescom. Uh, Hi, everyone. Gemma, this is so exciting to have you here. Welcome to the video game world. I know this is your first, uh, first video game, right? It is. Thank you for having me. Um, it is my first video game. I have always appreciated the power of storytelling in all its different forms. And in some ways, video games are very much like interactive cinema now. So I was so excited to play this character. And yeah, thank you for inviting me into the world of Sanctuary. You did an excellent job. I can't wait for people to <laughs> hear you. Yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> you know, season uh, two, which will be coming, as you said, in October. Uh, what can you tell us about the character that you're playing, Eris? So Eris is a seasoned vampire hunter. She is going to be your badass warrior companion as you fight your way through the perils of Sanctuary. She's complex. She's seen quite a bit of horror in her lifetime. So initially, she comes across as a little bit cold and jaded. But in a fight, she will definitely have your back. Good to know. Uh, Rod, uh, tell us a bit about uh, what we can expect from this new Diablo season in October. Well, Jeff, you know Diablo is about creating that ultimate power fantasy. And obviously, a lot of people have been doing it. We have over 12 million players and 1.3 billion hours played so far. And I just want to take a second to say thank you. We're so appreciative of their enthusiasm and all the player feedback. It's going to help us make great seasons for years to come. Now, for our free second season, Season of Blood, you get to join Eris as a vampire hunter, but not just any normal vampire hunter. You're going to get cool vampiric powers and become kind of a daywalker, a vampire that hunts vampires and ultimately tracks down and faces off with the big bad vampire lord. Now, that's season two and that's October, so we yeah. still have lots of time to jump into season one, uh, the season of Malignant. So, you know, seasons are a great time to start with Diablo because we all begin at the same place. So come join us in Diablo. Yay. Amazing. All right, well, thank you both for making the trek here to Gamescom in Germany, and we can't wait to uh, meet more Eris and hear more in October. Fantastic. Gemma, Rod, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and now it's time for another world premiere. This one is a European-made game about hope, love, friendship, and robots. Robot. In a world divided by disinformation, where danger lurks around every turn, a motley crew of misfits embark on a fateful road trip to discover their true... Please tell me you're done. Oh, we're just getting started, dude. What is this music? I believe the kids call it K-pop music. Just K-pop. Turn it down. Leave my music alone. Shut the hell up. Words have power. They can give you Bell. strength. Ready for this? Stand still. Words can bring people together and tear them apart. But if words hold so much power... He has no respect for you. She's right. The question is... What do you have to say? I think we can all agree that my trailer voice was better than yours. The hell was the audio? Hello? All right. That's a really fun indie game. Thank goodness you're here. And it's now to for the video. completely shift the tone again, I'm here with Sam Lake. Oh, is this Alan Wake? To a very dark place with Alan yeah. Wake 2. Sam, welcome to Gamescom. Uh, this game is coming out in October, and we've had so much fun. We announced this a few years ago at the Game Awards and at Summer Game Fest. We met Saga Anderson and heard a little bit of her side of the story, but everyone's been asking me, and I certainly expect you, what about Alan's story? What can you tell us about uh, what it's like to play as him? Uh, tonight, I think it's finally time to answer that question. Thank you for having us yes. here, Jeff. Yes, finally, it's time to show our title character, Alan Wake, and his struggle to escape the nightmare dimension of the dark place, where he's been for the last 13 years, ever since the first Alan Wake game. 
a long time. We've been waiting a yep. long time yep. to play another one. Uh, we're going to see some some footage here, and I know you're You've actually using for a live minute. action as well in it, right? And it's going to be kind of really blended together in a cool way. Yeah, the dark place is a dream reality, and it keeps drawing from Alan's mind, his thoughts, his fears, <clears> his <throat> writing, and and he comes from New York City, and and he, for years he has written crime fiction set in New York City. So now the dark place takes the shape of a nightmare in New York City. And we have used different mediums yes. in our experience, uh, in our games for storytelling, live action for sure. This time around, we've integrated live action seamlessly into the experience to show the dreamlike nature of the dark place. This game, I cannot wait. Uh, we don't have to wait too long. It's coming in October, but let's take a look now at the brand new trailer for Alan Wake 2. Sam, thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we're all ripped to pieces along the way. No! We have a great show for you here tonight. Alan Wick, one of my all-time favorite writers, and this on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he's written. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? I'm trying to remember it. You're the killer. The cult bleeding. No! You've got the wrong man! It's my fault! He got out! Wake has a double. Where is he now? I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. Good. Pre order for some skins. That looks absolutely amazing, and that's going to do it for opening night live. Uh, we have so many amazing games coming this fall. I want to thank all of you for being here tonight, watching online. Jasmine, thank you for co hosting. Uh, and I got to say, we got a thank lot you, of Jasmine. great games coming up in the next few months, so I hope you enjoy the rest of Gamescom and get ready for what's going to be quite a debate about Game of the Year. And speaking of- Oh God, dude, I, I'm game not of ready. The year, I'm happy to announce tonight that the Game Awards will be returning live this December. And we've got a date for you. Thursday, 7th? December yeah. 7th, the show will Why be is it always on a Thursday, live man? everywhere. It's so annoying. It is our 10th show, which I can't believe. Like, I work. For 10 years, we'll be live at the Peacock Theater in LA on Thursday, December 7th. And I hope to see you then. It's going to be a very, very special show. Thanks again for watching Gamescom opening night live. We'll see you again next year. Good night, everybody. That was fun. They didn't really show too much new shit. Just kind of a lot of uh, <clears throat> new videos for games that I guess had already been uh, already, already shown. Yeah, that was cool.